So we're going to move on to the types of cuts the machines are able to generate. So there are two types of cutting modes. We are going to look at a raster mode and a vector mode. But the raster mode here is it's called a multi-pass cutting mode. This means that this was created a lot like how an inkjet printer prints off a document. So this laser head is going to travel in a side-to-side -side manner, going to cover the entire span of the design, carving away one line at a time from the bottom toward the top. To get this to happen, what you'll need in that Illustrator file is any sort of fill objects, so just fill shapes or fill fonts are also acceptable. Any sort of images, these are just copied from the web, but any image you bring into Illustrator will cut this way, as well as all gradations and all heavy lines. Now heavy lines here are the only thing that is set up different than these three here. Heavy lines, the laser cutter is actually going to look at the stroke value on that line path. And in order for it to be cut as a raster line, the stroke value must be above 0.1 points. And that must be above that value because the 0.1 is actually exclusively locked to the vector uh, settings here. In order to get the vector settings to cut, you have to have the lines at exactly 0.1 points. If it's anything else, the laser cutter is going to automatically push it to the raster mode. Now the advantage of a vector line as opposed to the raster is vector is actually going to trace and follow that line path. So if you're ever doing any sort of outlines or any sort of intricate line work like this, it's far quicker to have the cut happen using a vector mode where it's tracing it than the raster mode where it can only build up in horizontal sweeps. <laughs> Once you define a line as vector, you can start to control the power and speed settings and get different results. So that's how you're able to get this cut through. Basically what we're doing is to sit, set up the exact same way but using a lot more power to be able to penetrate the material. So I'll go into more detail on that when we get to the illustrator. Any questions on the cuts here?